Okay, guys, yesterday I put out a video on Regina. She goes by love, the last name. Apparently, her family is looking for her. I think her brother or someone in the family. And she's been telling a lot of lies. Jaguar Wright managed to get her to Dallas because she said she was scared. The exterminator came twice and she didn't know he was coming. So she feels as though he's part of the plot to put her back in the mental institution. She just came out, she said, about four, five days ago. And Sean Davy Ray on his live tonight said he didn't know all this when they were talking to her and interviewing her, and it was never a part of the plan for her to get to Dallas. Jaguar is the one who switched that whole thing up. He said she was never to be used for content. Where that came from is all on Jaguar, because they were supposed to get her help. They were supposed to at least check, you know, get her uh, the help that she needs. He said if he knew she had just came out from a mental institution and is suffering from schizophrenia, he would have never made the moves that he did. And I know how he feels in a way because when you are in the dark and people are keeping information from you and you go out on a limb and you're left with egg on your face, it's kind of disturbing in a way, but I felt his pain because he's really hurting that he's been lied to. He put his whole channel on the chopping block, his credibility in other words. But I have this to say to him, don't fret, don't worry, don't be concerned that anything is going to happen in terms of your viewing audience that you're going to lose credibility because you're not. Because you were innocent in all this. You did not know this child was suffering from schizophrenia or any type of mental illness. I don't know if a few people knew and they kept it from him. I know Regina kept it from him because she didn't tell him initially. But I saw an interview with her and Jaguar Wright and she was telling Jaguar Wright she came out of a mental institution three days ago and this was about five days back. So Jaguar right knew. When she knew is a different story. I don't know exactly when she was told. If three days back was the first time. Or if she was told before then. But I know on Jaguar's channel. Regina was telling her that she just came out of the mental institution three days ago. So maybe that was the first time. Because the way she was saying it. To me, Jaguar was hearing it for the first time, and this was about four or five days back because her video came out about five days ago, and the young lady was saying she got out of the institution three days ago. So it's all new to everybody, really. So I don't think Sean David Ray should beat himself up too much, but Jaguar has got to stop whatever she's doing with this young lady because she has mental illness. And... Whatever happens, if something happens to that young lady, the authorities are going to look at Jaguar as the sole person to talk to. Because remember, Jaguar got this young woman out of Detroit, where she lives, into Texas. And that is interstate. And if anything happens to that young lady, Jaguar would be in big trouble because this person is suffering from schizophrenia. That's a serious mental illness. First of all, she's away from her doctor. She's away from access to her medications. I'm sure she's on medications. For her to be in an institution just a week ago, I'm sure they released her with medications. And Jaguar has taken on a heavy responsibility. I don't know if she bargain for what's to come because people with schizophrenia if they're not on their meds they can k-i-l-l -L someone i'm not trying to scare anybody but i think jaguar should get that young lady back to her home back in detroit put her in the hands of family member and if she can't put her in the hands of family member at least Get her back to Detroit where she can go back to her apartment. 
because it's not going to be pretty if this young lady feels as though Jaguar is betraying her and if she feels threatened in any way by Jaguar or her husband, it's not going to be pretty because people with schizophrenia have outbursts. And the outburst is enough to scare anybody, okay? So I am fearful for Jaguar and her family at this point. I don't know where the young lady is staying. I don't know if she's going to be sleeping with them in the same house or if they checked her into a hotel or if they're going to be sleeping in the car with her. I don't know. But wherever she's going to be sleeping, I suggest they get her on a bus, round trip, right back to Detroit. When? Pronto. Like in the morning. Now we all saw what Jaguar did at the airport. How she performed. We saw when she was in front of the barbershop or at the barbershop, how she performed and rubbed her son's ashes on her face and the big cussing and etc. And she was just out of her mind to the point where they had to take her to a mental hospital. Now, I don't know if Jaguar has schizophrenia, but I do know that patients with schizophrenia act even worse than we saw Jaguar acting. People who have schizophrenia act even worse. So everyone in YouTube land is very concerned about Jaguar's safety as well as her family members because nobody knows this young woman, her background. Well, of course, you know, YouTubers don't know each other either. But what I'm saying is they don't know her capabilities in terms of how dangerous is she? Nobody knows if she's capable of doing harm and the level of harm. So folks are kind of wringing their hands. Folks are pulling back. Folks are disengaging themselves from the whole situation. Except Jaguar Wright. She's busy trying to make this young woman content. Because really she doesn't see the danger that's involved here. And her responsibility for this young woman, because she got her out of Detroit. She requested to get out, but of course she didn't tell Jaguar when she was there that she just came out of a mental institution and she suffers from schizophrenia. But this is what Sean Davy Ray said tonight. I mean, it's, it's information that no one was aware of. But the fact that she said initially that she was the daughter of Aaliyah. Immediately I said it cannot be. Because Aaliyah's family would not have let Aaliyah's child go into the world without them taking care of that child, without them nurturing that child, without that child being a part of their lives. Because Aaliyah was well loved by her family and they would want any child of Aaliyah to be with them. So to me, right away... I knew she was a fake. I knew she was putting on a show. And I even said, you know, now that she's got her little fame, now what? What are you going to do next, young woman? And so the real danger is, what is she going to do after the spotlight? Because right now she's viral on the internet. But what's going to happen when she's no longer viral and she is no longer content for Jaguar Wright? Because everybody now sees through all of it, and everybody knows it's a show, and it's not real, and it's put on, and this young woman was faking. So now what? She's going to, within a couple of days, her story is going to start dying down. She's no longer going to be the hottest thing on the internet. And then what is Jaguar Wright going to do? She will not have her content as planned, and I'm afraid it's going to be a problem getting her back to Detroit if she does not get her on that bus tomorrow, it's going to be a problem if she keeps her longer with her because then she's going to grow attached to Jaguar and her family. And I would not be surprised if she starts saying that Jaguar's family is her family and she's not going anywhere. It will not surprise me because she has schizophrenia. And a lot of times when people have that illness, they will convince themselves that... Something is when it isn't. 
Like she convinced herself that Ali and Robert Kelly is her parents and you can't tell her otherwise. She is firm in that belief. She's going to do the same thing with Jaguar, I'm afraid. She might. It is, I'm not for sure. But she might say that Jaguar's family is her family. And then what is Jaguar going to do? She won't be able to get rid of her. But the most important thing right now is for her to get her back on that bus, back to Detroit, preferably in the morning. Night and Day Network also put out a statement that they were not responsible for the young lady coming to uh, to Dallas, and they interviewed her in a very responsible manner. As independent reporters, they did their job, and so they're kind of washing their hands with the whole thing. I know this King Payne is doing the same thing. He's not taking responsibility for all this stuff that's going on with Jaguar. Uh, getting this woman out of Detroit into where she is in Dallas, Sean Davey Ray did the same thing. They are all kind of taking a back seat, washing their hands of the situation in terms of exploiting her for content. Because I know Sean Davey Ray, as well as Night and Day, and I'm sure King Payne wants to help her to get some help because she needs treatment. She's a young woman out there and a lot can happen, especially I was listening to her on Jaguar station and she was afraid. She said she had been drugged a couple of times. People were following her on the highway. The exterminator was part of the plot to get her back in the mental institution. So apparently she has paranoia. She doesn't trust a lot of people and that goes with schizophrenia. The trust issue is not there. They don't trust anyone. So I'm afraid Jaguar Wright is gonna find herself in a situation that she has bitten off more than she can chew. Because in a couple of days, when Jaguar says one thing to her that she doesn't like. That's where the mistrust, and once that mistrust creeps in for a person with schizophrenia, they will not trust you ever again. And so Jaguar, I don't think Jaguar knew that she had this mental illness before she got her on that uh, bus out of Detroit. I think had she known, she wouldn't have gotten her on that bus. But now that she knows, she's got to reverse that. She's got to send her back. I think this is like the worst nightmare for any content creator to get involved in a person's life, uproot them from their home, a different city. The person comes to you and is staying with you. And you find out the person is schizophrenic, just came out of mental hospital. I mean, every content creator on YouTube is now worried about Jaguar's safety, really. Because those of you who are in mental health or any type of medical profession, you understand the gravity of what's going on here. Because as bad as we saw how Jaguar can get... And we don't know if she's schizophrenic because of some of the behavior she has exhibited so far is questionable. So I don't know if Jaguar Wright is schizophrenic, but I do know schizophrenic patients have a whole new level of violence. Okay, when they get into that mode, the violence is between zero to 10 it's an 11, okay? But really, this is not a time for any name blaming. I know everyone feels guilty and kind of blaming themselves, but no one should really blame his or herself because no, nobody knew that she had this mental illness. She knew, but she didn't convey to anyone until after she got out of, out of uh, Detroit. And so this is what I'm presuming that when she revealed the information, she was already out of Detroit. And uh, 
the most important thing right now is not a name blaming. The most important thing is to help her get back to Detroit and talk to some family members. I know Sean Davy Ray is says a few things about family members of them caring. And for him to make that statement, he must have a number or in contact with a family member. That's who Jaguar Wright, King Payne, and Sean Davy Way needs to talk to. So they can coordinate this young lady getting back to Detroit safely without her having any breaks in personality. And so she can be received on the other end without any incidences. The takeaway is, folks, is that YouTubers, some YouTubers anyway, some content creators get too involved in their subjects, the people that they interview. You cannot get that involved and that vested that you're going to uproot someone from their home and bring them to where you are. This is not on Kingpin, nor Sean Avery Way, nor Night and Day Network. None of them did that. This is on Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright is also a content creator. That's why I say some content creators. She have got to send this young woman back. She's not content. She's a very ill young woman who is diagnosed with schizophrenia. And anybody can look up the symptoms and the diagnosis and all that that entails on the internet. The information is on the internet. And you guys are going to see that it's not an easy illness to manage. She may be fine this moment and the next moment she thinks somebody is going to kill her. And if that's the case and she's around Jaguar, she might think Jaguar is in with a plot. Like she said, the exterminator was in with a plot to put her back in the mental institution. And if that's the case, no telling what she's going to do. So for your own safety, I would tell Jaguar right to put her back on that bus. YouTubers, I'm over now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.